I'm Sharon Needham, and I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I feel like I'm cancer-free, but I'd actually really like to know if I am. I think the general public that haven't had cancer can understand it best right now with COVID. If you get a headache or a sniffle or a sore throat, you panic and think, do I have COVID and should I go get tested? It can be like that with cancer. Every time you have a symptom, you're wondering, is it back? And being able to prove it's not is probably the biggest relief you can have for your mind. I was diagnosed with neuroendocrine cancer in 2015. It had a lot of different symptoms mimicking other illnesses, so I was misdiagnosed for a long time. It's a hormonal cancer, so the tumors secrete hormones into your body and it wreaks havoc in your endocrine system, causing rashes on my face, on my arms, on my eyelids. I had heart palpitations, I had wheezing, diarrhea, stomach upset, things that were considered food allergies. I would get a cold and I would have recurring pneumonia because the tumor would be blocking my lungs so it couldn't clear it out. I, I had doctors tell me I was just stressed out, I was working too hard, I was traveling too much. And finally, when my tumor was found, it was almost a relief. The tumor was seen on a, a scan close to seven years prior to when I was diagnosed. At the time, it was believed to be a large lymph node, but by the time I was diagnosed and it was removed during surgery, it was four and a half centimeters. So picture it as a golf ball blocking the main branch of my left lung. As soon as the tumor came out, all of the rashes all over my body cleared up. My stomach became better. It was amazing to me how good I felt when I finally had the right treatment. So the biggest thing now is making sure it never comes back and keeping an eye on what's going on is really critical. And having the right test for neuroendocrine cancer is even more critical. We really need the Gallium 68 PET scan to be effective and that's the right tool for scanning neuroendocrine cancer. For the last five years we've used different methods that aren't 100% accurate. It's like looking at something through a foggy lens or looking at a patient with a clear 2020 vision to see really what's going on in their body. And really, you wanna see the small tumors before they become bigger so you can treat them and get rid of them. So I was fortunate enough that my oncologist here in Halifax in 2017 referred me to a clinical trial in Quebec and I was the first person from Nova Scotia to go and take part of that clinical trial. To have an octreotide scan, which is the current technology, it would be days of testing. When I did the clinical trial, it was about 20 minutes. It doesn't exist here, but it doesn't exist across most of the country. Last January, before COVID, we considered the potential to go to Quebec again. Now, with COVID, it's not worth the risk with limited lung capacity. My friends with breast cancer would think it's crazy that I couldn't even, if you look at neuroendocrine cancer, gallium 68 is like getting my mammogram. I can't even get that five years into diagnosis, you know? So the first goal I had really in life after being diagnosed and after my lung surgery was walking enough to be able to do a half marathon. I've walked in Toronto half marathon three times to raise money for cancer research. And then last summer with COVID, we did our own fundraiser. I did close to 2,000 kilometers on my bike on the Salt Marsh Trail. Our team raised $30,000 for neuroendocrine cancer research. I think it's important to note that neuroendocrine cancer is on the rise faster than any other cancer. And it's something that people need to talk about. I'm so fortunate for how healthy I am. And I see a lot of other patients that don't have that luxury. I've lost five friends in the five years since I've been diagnosed. And there are so many patients that are so sick because they're diagnosed stage four. And this is the least I can do to help them. This really is about ensuring the best care in Nova Scotia and Atlanta, Canada for neuroendocrine cancer patients. Letting them have treatment sooner, giving them potential longer lifespan, allowing people to have a better quality of life. In the, the spring, we could be leading the country and getting the Gallium 68 scanner here, and patients from all over Atlanta, Canada could be getting the right test. We could be leading the country in providing best care. And I'd probably celebrate a lot said no, I'd be cancer free. Help us bring one of the best cancer detection tools to the QE2.